Well, the basic concept behind the idea of the Unsafe Space Exhibition is the concept of danger, risk and insecurity and uncertainty um, in the outside world as well as in the own inside world, so to say, and how we as humans confront um, this, this concept. Well, I always wanted to uh, smash some stuff into pieces in an exhibition of mine because I always, I have been to countless exhibitions, so I always tend to be like, all right, you go in, you walk through, you take a look at the walls and the art, which is probably cool and nice, but that's it. Like, where's the, where's the rock and roll, you know? I don't, I don't want to call it punk attitude, but you know, you, you have like this glass box there and people are wondering, well, what the hell is that thing? and going around and taking photographs and close looks, maybe even take a selfie in the mirror. And then this guy comes out dressed in a suit and sunglasses, talks a little bit about how thankful he is, which he actually is, that everybody uh, was there. And, uh, and then proceeds to smash this glass into bits. maybe reframe the possibility of opening an exhibition with a bang. My name is Pano, I'm an artist and I try to uh, make art on different themes and topics that inspire me. I have a background in graphic design, so I'm also versatile in doing pretty much digital stuff as well, like collages or uh, designs. But my heart probably beats for the traditional course of uh, painting, like uh, having something analog to do, let it be building up a canvas from scratch and you know applying the, the canvas onto the wood and then just um, painting with a brush and uh, um, yeah I guess that nowadays that everything's so fast and digitally evolving even faster and I guess it's even more important to kind of uh, maintain the analog factor which kind of tones it all down and kind of uh, makes you concentrate on the, on the essence of things. Well, the people who exhibit here as well uh, are close friends to mine who I uh, yeah, tend to get inspired by. They are uh, also great artists who, who try to innovate themselves and try different stuff, I guess, uh, which I'm really uh, inspired by. And um, these people are uh, Nick Matthias, Christopher Kadetsky, Jack Lilly's uh, Satisfied Guy, I Heart World, uh, Wasted Fox, and Elias Schön. Just a bunch of different characters and artists uh, doing what they do and doing what they love. And uh, 
it's all different styles which kind of create a nice multitude of, um, of facets which I draw inspiration from and I thought yeah just maybe give them also the opportunity to um, to get their art out there and to be seen and maybe um, even have the opportunity to inspire other people with their art. Just listen to your ideas because I think I got many thoughts in my head daily but I don't associate myself with these thoughts because you aren't that what you think but you are an idea or an idea might be you because an idea might be a thought too but an idea has many many more potentials to grow into something that is maybe a nice piece of artwork just being there for a moment even if you're like sitting in the in the train and just looking outside and you see the the single raindrops on the on the fucking window and you just consciously are aware of that just just being in the moment consciously and present and i think um, that is something that their art also transmits to me at least.